Hi guys and welcome to Code with Aditya and um what we're gonna be making today is another scratch um project and it's called Balloon Pop and so this is I'm gonna give you a little demo. So it's like you can make it slower or faster and you just have to pop the balloons by clicking on them and it'll put up your score and you have ten seconds. So nothing really happens, but nothing really happens once you like go like this. You won't have like any game over or you win or anything. That's for you to do. So now we're gonna get into the tutorial. So what we need to do is we need to do projects.raspberrypi.org. Projects.raspberry.org. It'll be in the link will be in the description if you need it. And then click browse all projects. And then any software, do scratch. Any level, do creator. And then we did Ada's Poetry Generator, we did Archery, we did Astronaut Reaction Time Game. So now we're going to do balloons. So, what we're going to do um, is, that's the demo, and then go, click on Introduction. So, click on this link right here to create a new project, basically. Basically creating a new project. Let's go. Okay, so now we have a new project. You can name your project. I'm going to name it Balloon. Okay. Balloon pop. That's wrong. Okay, balloon pop. And then now we'll follow the tutorial. So we did that. And then we have to delete the cat sprite. So click the trash icon on here. And then we go back here. Check that. And then add a new balloon sprite and a suitable stage backdrop. So click, you see where it says like the cat right here? Hover over it, don't click it. Um, and you where it says choose a sprite, like the magnifying glass, click on that. So it will bring you into the library. And then select a balloon one. So now you have a balloon one. And you click on the backdrops, and then where it says backdrops one, and click on this backdrop right here, the stage. And then click on the this icon. And then click on the magnifying glass again. And just search up wall. Okay, that's wrong. Okay, wall. Okay. So choose wall one or whatever backdrop you really want. Okay, and now we're gonna do coding, so that's good. And then now we're gonna click on, okay, so now we're gonna write this code. So make sure you click, you have the balloon one clicked here, and then drag in when flag clicked from the events tab. Click on events and then drag in when flag clicked. And then do go to X, zero y zero from motion go to motion and do drag in go to x and then go to y like that this one and make those zero and zero and then do point in direction 45 okay so go back to motion and then there should be a block point in direction 90 but we're going to change that to 45 um now what we need to do is drag in a forever, okay? So we'll go here, drag in forever, and then do move one steps. Um, so in motion, drag in move 10 steps, and then type in one. And then if on edge bounce, so back into motion right here, do scroll down a little it should be right here if on edge bounce so now we can check this off so now let's test our balloon if we wanted to move slowly and stuff so click the flag and then see how it's like turned like this um like that so we test it okay and if the, if this is too slow for you then you can um change the move one step to like two steps or five steps or a hundred steps that's probably too much but you can change it to whatever you want i'm gonna keep it at like 10. that's that's uh actually that's a little too much eight uh, eight is good eight is good but yeah that's that's a good okay so now we're gonna fix the balloon like this problem so we'll check that and then um, so what we need to do is we need to like make it so it doesn't turn. So we'll go to balloon pop. Stop, stop this. Um, and where it says direction, 
it should say like 135 or whatever angle you are the balloons at right click on that okay whoops click on that click on that actually click on it and there should be like three little things right here and then um so click on the do not rotate do not rotate thing right here so now now if we run it again then it's not going to rotate but like move in the same orientation and stuff okay so check this off okay and then yep this is fixed and then we're gonna go now so now we're gonna have random randomly like randomly placed balloons so we're gonna instead of going always starting at zero zero this stop this uh, at zero zero so this is zero zero right here um zero zero instead of always starting here and then going to like 45 degrees we're gonna start at random places in the stage so we need to do pick random 150 um okay yeah and then pick random negative 150 to 150 and another pick random negative 150 to 150 so go to operators in your code then drag in pick random 1 to 10 and drag that into zero the x colon zero there should be like a white outline to know that you're snapped so one to ten instead of one to ten we're going to do negative 150 to 150 and then so we don't want to do this again you can right click on pick random and then there should be like a duplicate thing here and then you'll duplicate it and then go into the other zero like this so now if we keep clicking it it'll start at different places like there like that, okay. Keep going, check that off. Okay, so now we can even use like random number to choose like balloon colors. So what we need to do um, is go to looks and then go to change color effect by 25. So drag that under point in direction, 45. And then drag in another in operators, go to operators and drag in another pick random 1 to 10 into 25 right here and change that to 0 to 2 200 okay so now that's going to change the random color randomly see like this like that see now it's like different colors every time yeah okay so let's go stop that you can check that off okay now we're going to do more randomness so we're gonna like make it to like, you know, like how it always goes in this direction, like 45 degrees in one direction, but we're gonna make it like go side to side or up and down. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is for that is we need to, where it's this point in direction, it's gonna be like 45 degrees, right? But we're gonna make that pick random from operators, pick random like this, um, negative 90 to 180. Okay, so negative 90 to 180, so we can, well, that's done. So now we're going to make popping balloons. So what we need to do, this we're going to make costumes, or costumes are basically like your own sprites. So go to this again, and then go to costumes tab right here. You have the balloon costumes here. And then where it says choose a costume right here click the paintbrush and then you'll be able to make your own and then where it says costume costume one change that to burst so the burst costume um and then like just change the color here to black so like make bright and zero and then click the paintbrush icon brush and you can draw like little like little bursting things so like this like this like this like this Like that that's a good enough bursting icon and then so that's the burst icon or the burst sprite and then go back to code you can go back here and then click this and then so we have all of this code so far now we need to make sure it's the correct costume we're going to so here go to looks um switch costume to burst instead of 
drag that above everything. Instead of switch costume to burst, do switch costume to balloon 1A, which is the blue balloon. And then go here, back, and check this off. And then allow the player to burst the balloon. So now we're going to like make it burst. So go back to the code. And in events, when this sprite clicked, looks, um, switch costume to burst. Switch costume to burst. And then sounds, start sound pop. Okay, so that's basically what we have so far. Uh, we can check that off. Now, we need to test our project. Let's test our project. So we have here. And then it pops, but we, 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 won't, we don't want um, this the animation to keep hanging around. That's going to look really weird, right? So what we're going to do is um, follow this and wait 0 0.3 seconds and hide. So let's do in events. I mean, control, do wait one second, drag that under, pop, start sound pop, and it was 0 0.3 seconds. I like 0 0.1 seconds because I feel like 0 0.2, I mean 0 0.3 um, is a little too much. You can ha have whatever you want. And then do hide. So in looks, scroll down, there should be a hide and show, so drag and hide. So now if we try it again, and if we click on it, and it disappears. Okay, so we'll keep going. So now we want to show it again when we restart the game. So um, we'll first do that. And then um, we need to ha put the show back. So show, switch costume up here. So now if we try it again, so we'll show it and then like this. And we stop it and then it'll come back again. Okay, so check that off. I check it off because it just tells me if I'm if I'm um like if I'm done with the step and like let me keep progress. So check that off too. Okay, now we're gonna add score. So we're gonna learn how to add variables. So variables just store information um in Scratch. So go to the variables tab and click make a variable, and then here check for all sprites and do new variable name um score okay press okay um now what we're gonna do is follow this we're gonna click that and then what we're gonna do is set score to zero every time we restart the game so i'm gonna right click on my variable and then do delete the variable that and then now we're gonna drag and set score zero right here to above show right here so every time we i mean right now it's not set to anything but if we were to set it to something like like that and then if we started it it'll set it to zero every time let's do that okay and then now keep going check it off and when the balloon is popped you need to add one to the score so here when we click it um after it's popped so drag and change score by one and drag it under weight 0 0.1 seconds okay so if we try it again let's see there and now we have one score now we just need to keep going so check that off okay yep our score changes so we can check that off now we're going to add more balloons so um instead of all of this code right here being under when flag clicked we're going to do it when i start as a clone okay so what we need to do is so we have this block of code right here click on show and then drag that whole part out and then like make this put, put this to the side okay so go back to class yep okay that's good so what we want to do is go to control and then go all the way down and then it should be when I start as a clone, drag that up here and it should click into place. So that's good. That's what we want. So now keep going. So under one flag clicked, um, we do uh, looks 
hide right here. So we drag and hide, repeat 20, create a clone of, my, clone of myself. So like duplicate itself 20 times. So control, repeat 10 times and change that to 20. And then in the control again, do create a clone of myself. Okay, and then so keep doing this, check, check. Okay, instead of hide, we're gonna do delete this clone. So delete this, and then do delete this clone. Now if we try it again, you can be, you can like click it. Okay, yep, it's good. Okay, so let's keep going. Check that, and then. Okay, now we're going to add a timer. So we're going to create a new variable called time. So go back to variables, make a variable for all sprites, create time. Okay. And then, um, so we want it to start at 10 every time. So we're going to do all of this under the stage, our backdrop stage. So go here, go click on the stage right here, the stage, and then it should be like a the stage icon right here it should be like this and then go here and then we're gonna have one flag click set time to 10 so go to events one flag clicked control I mean variables um, set score I mean not set score set time to 10 okay so like if we click flag, then it should set time to 10. So now we're going to do repeat until, okay? So we need to do um, in control, do repeat until, and then operators, um, this right here, um, blank equals to 50, drag that into here. And then instead of blank, we're going to go to variables and do drag in time here equals to zero so we'll do this until time equals to zero so we're going to do wait one second so every one second so control every one second it will count down it will, it's basically we're making a countdown change score by negative one instead of adding score like the time i mean change change time by negative one so instead of adding score like um like the instead of adding we're subtracting unlike the score so if we try it again yeah so you see so all that stuff is there so now it counts down so yep that works so don't forget to check everything okay so now instead of we don't like it like having a time here right so we're gonna like just add this time right here so right click on the variable like this and do large readout and like drag it to like the top right corner right here okay so that's pretty good so now um, we'll test it out we already tested it out we can you can do all this stuff to like make the difficulty like how you want it so now we're gonna you can so we're basically done with this project now and I'll, I'll leave the rest of the stuff to you um, like the challenges and stuff so um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.